Hi, this is Shubham from Moni Studio and today in this podcast we are going to discuss about Baltic Dry Index that is BDI. Here we are going to discuss what is this Baltic Dry Index, its meaning, how it works, various interpretation as well as we are going to see a real life example relating to this. But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article about Baltic Dry Index, then the link of article provided is in description. First, let's discuss what is the need of such kind of index as an indicator. As an investor, we are always looking for a practical economic indicator which we can use to inform us about the investing decision. Peter Lynch, the famous manager of a Fidelity Fund, talks about looking for a practical indicators in the world around you like looking at what products your friends are buying or what stores always seems to be a crowded. The Baltic Tri Index is a practical economic indicator on a global scale. So here is the main question. What is this Baltic Dry Index BDI? The Baltic Dry Index is a shipping and trade index created by London based Baltic Exchange. It measures changes in the cost of a transporting various raw material such as coal, steel, etc. Members of this exchange directly contact shipping brokers to assess the price level for given a shipping paths, a product to a transport and time to delivery and the speed. The Baltic Dry Index is a composite of a four sub indices that measure a different size of a dry bulk carrier or a merchant ship. These are KP size, Panamax, Supramax and Handy size. So how this Baltic Dry Index works? The Baltic Dry Index is a measure of what it costs to ship raw material like iron core, steel, cement, coal and so on around the world. The Baltic Dry Index is compiled daily by the Baltic Exchange based in London to compile the index members of a Baltic exchange call dry bulk shippers around the world to see what their price are for the 22 different shipping routes around the globe. Once they have obtained this number, they compile them and find an average to ensure they are getting a comprehensive view of the entire shipping industry where looking at a various shipping costs, the Baltic exchange looks at a cost of each of the following four sizes of ship. The first one is a KP Max. This is 10% of a global fleet. These ships that can carry 1 lakh plus dead weight tons of a cargo and are too big to pass through Panama Canal. The second type is a Panamax which contribute 19% of a global fleet. Ships that can carry 60,000 to 80,000 dead weight tons of a cargo and can barely fit through Panama Canal. The third is a Handy Max or Supra Max that is 37% of a global fleet. These ships carry around 45,000 to 59,000 dead weight ton of a cargo. And the fourth and last type is a Handy Size which comprises of 34% of a global fleet. This ship can carry around 15,000 to 35,000 dead weight tons of a cargo. So after understanding how this index is calculated, now understand the interpretation of this Baltic Dry Index. The Baltic Dry Index typically increases the value as a demand for a commodities and a raw goods increases and decrease in the value of a demand for commodities and raw goods decreases. This is a direct relationship. Here is the typical mean when a Baltic Dry Index turn around and start moving up. If the Baltic Dry Index is moving up then first global economy are starting to or continuing to grow, second companies are starting to or coming to grow phase, third stock prices should start or continue to increase in a value. Fourth, the commodity prices should start to or continue to increase in value. And the fifth one is the value of commodity currencies like a Canadian dollar or the Australian dollar or the New Zealand dollar should start to or continue to increase in value. Contrary to this, if this dry Baltic index turns around and start moving down, then first the global economies are starting to or continue to contrast, second companies are starting to contrast relating to this business, third stock prices around the globe relating to this industry will start decreasing, fourth the commodity price also 
should start continue or to decrease in value and the fifth based on this the value of a commodity currency is like canadian dollar australian dollar new zealand dollar should start to decrease in the value let's take a real life example the bdi predicted the 2008 recession in some measure when the price experienced a sharp drop in one of the striking example of the insight that you can come from the index analyst could observe that the between september 2019 and january 2020 the baltic dry index fell by more than 70% a strong indicator of economic concentration this correction directly headed for an outbreak of a covid-19 pandemic then in 2021 the bdi rose drastically as the pandemic led to decrease and delay in global shipping so after discussing baltic dry index let's discuss what is the bottom line over here the baltic dry index is an index of a average price paid for the transport of a dry bulk material across more than 20 routes the bdi is often viewed as a leading indicator of economic activity because changes in this index reflect the supply and demand for important material used in a manufacturing the index can experience high level of volatility because of supply of a large carriers tend to be a small with a long lead times and high production capacity cost in nutshell a bdi is one of the powerful and key indicator for a global supply chain so thank you guys for joining with us shubham here from monish you signing off if you want to read the full article about bdi then the link of our article provided is in a description thank you